Any more people coming? Great, thank you all for being here. And today we're going to do a, a talk and a presentation, a live demo presentation, about rock chats. Who here knows, uh, let's start with, who here uses something is known as Slack? Please raise your hands. That's about 70% of the people, yes. Please come. Yeah. Alright, and who here heard about uh, Rocket Chat? 40%? Great, great, good audience. Okay. So, the Rocket Chat has come to Drupal, to us, to help us. I'm Florence Fogel. Um, I see you can find me at Zelfie. And uh, this was the competition uh, that we did in Balaton to, be, to be the best trees look alike. There were only two people competing, and no one. And you can find me on the Twitter at OverOlab. And OverOlab is my company, and uh, we do 60% stuff for clients to keep the chimney smoking, and 40% 40, 40 to make other cool open source products. Larry from Buell, known as Sissel's Master on the Twitter, and I would like to, all of you to applaud for him now. <laughs> he did actually most of the heavy lifting in making this stuff work. So great. Right. Um, we're going to start with some little bit of history on uh, chats and so forth. Compare uh, Slack and Rock Chats. Uh, dive into uh, how you do actual video conferencing. Then we introduce the Drupal module, what you can do with it now, and what you can help to help us do for all of us more stuff. Uh, a little bit of a roadmap and then a call to action. After this presentation, there will be a buff around the corner in the sprint room, which is currently empty, so we can use that. And that will be about communication, what we want and what we need as a Drupal community and how we can improve this with technology. So it's mainly about integrating and working together and collaborating. Oh yeah, the slides, you don't need to type or write, you can just find them here, they're online in the current version. Exclusive this link, because it's already there. Anyway, it started off in, in, in 1988 with IRC, Internet Relay Chat. Who here? still uses IRC? Okay, it's like 5%. Who really knows what IRC is? It's about 90%, so we don't need to explain that, unless that's, that's called Internet Relay Chat. And that it works with uh, a distributed network of servers, and if you connect to the server and you start chatting, then the servers will put it to the other servers, and in the end we can all chat again. Uh, it was adapted worldwide in the 90s and has been the de facto standard for communicating within Drupal since this time. There's other versions and other varieties that came up, just like this guy, Mr. Slack. And I have like 18 different Slack channels, and when I opened this program, I wanted to make a giddy for you, it will take too long, so I couldn't put it in for presentation. Anyway. Uh, Slack is a not open source uh, chat system where teams can collaborate, it integrates nicely with bots and with version uh, control networks and so forth. And it's well adopted within software uh, development lands, especially from a uh, business owner point of view. Okay. Then there is Rocket Chat. Rocket Chat originated in Brazil, where everything is spicy and salsa and making it smooth. And it almost looks the same in appearance and in user interaction. So there is no need, no, no need to learn how to operate a new system. Maybe that this little plus here creates a new channel, but yeah, that won't be too difficult. For the rest, under the hood, you just have the slash commands to create new channels, invite people the same way we used to do this all the time in IRC. So it's built in Meteor which is a fast JavaScript uh, framework, and uh, it uses MongoDB underneath in order to have a long record of all the history. Then, uh, its preferred uh, web service is Nginx, which makes it fast and good. 
Uh, it has built-in support for less than credit, so you don't need to buy a new SSL certificate every year for every domain. And to get started with it, there is uh, Ansible scripts available, there is a Docker container available that you can direct, directly pull to your local machine and start working with. So it's really accessible to the community to build. Uh, we prefer LXC, LXD containers for its more stable and better suited for the purpose that we use it for. And one other great thing is that it integrates the U-Bot inside the chat system. So you can easily hook it up to Slack as a backend for getting people over and communicating with these people. As well as introduce other U-Bots that do specific tasks. Something like we miss now uh, a functioning Drupal link up. There's a Drupal bot, but that one doesn't have a history log pointer. Yeah, all these problems we can fix with this one. Then, if you are in a channel, in a, in a log channel, or you're doing peer-to-peer -peer communication, you can just click the call button and start a Jitsi conversation. Which means that your browser will call the other one's browser, and you can directly have a telephone conversation, like you can do in Hangouts, or in Skype, or other means of communication. One of the big advantages of this one is that it's also open source, and it limits at about 25 people, if they have a good internet connection, who can simultaneously do video chat. If, if you pay for it, that's not possible in, in Skype. So, how does this look like? There's only one client now, if you open it Anyway, uh, yeah. So, we add the, the Drupal superheroes in there, so if you have no camera, then you see the superheroes. And it's, it's a VC slash test. Uh, and then you can just start the conversation, uh, keep track of uh, some notes. Um, for the next step, we want to include next to the users a window on your slides, which means that you can do an online slide uh, presentation as well as engage with the audience. It's the so we'll skip this one. Maybe we'll make it. So if you compare the features, huh, then we have uh, Slack and Rocket. Um, I didn't include Riot here. However, they're both. Uh, the big difference is that Rocket is hosted and self-hosted, which means that you can actually control your own data, and you don't need to gather 30,000 euros in order to have the whole Drupal community chat together with the history on Drupal.slack.com. That is the cost that it will take in order to have a goal. It has all the clients needed. They all do. And here is something which recently is updated in Slack that you currently can do a calling and video conferencing. However, I tested it with, but it didn't work that well yet. It might be that they get out. Anyway, uh, another main big difference, especially for open source developers, is that there is a Linux client. And that uh, the, all these ones are currently uh, built upon the Cordova framework and they will become like a native apps. So it will perform a lot faster on your phone and it won't drain your battery as much as the Slack client does. Which is great for us. So how do we get this stuff into Drupal? That's the next question. Uh, I heard about it uh, on another IT conference and I thought, oh, this would be great for us as a community to utilize and to, to handle. Then you look around on the internet and you find, ah, there is this, this, this guy, Jendos, and he made a, a proof of concept module where uh, Drupal can have a, the, the chat for uh, live chat integrated in. Okay, perfect. But is this thing GPL2? If it isn't, we can't port it and maintain it on Drupal.org. So we asked Jelus, can you please add a license file and make it GPL2? Okay, sure, sure, we did so. So then we were able to migrate it to the RocketChip module, which you can find at Drupal.org slash RocketChip. And currently it's uh, uh, 8 and 7 stable version, and in there you have Live chat working, which means that anonymous users who visit your site, they get a little uh, pop-up balloon like this, and then they can start chatting. 
with your own people, with the department. Um, the, the basic uh, rocket functionality, which is already in the software, as well as video conferencing with the Jitsi Meet and maybe other uh, WebRTC systems. So at the end, if you have had this session with the client, then they get asked, okay, I, I want to, can you provide your email? And with that you get a neat JSON, and with this JSON you can put it into your uh, favorite CRM system. Maybe Drupal. Anyway, now, last week, the Drupal Rocket Chat API is released which means that all the functions and accessibility that are in the Rocket Chat are now also available in Drupal 8, the dev version, to use. As an example, we made um, the, the, the status logging as well as the, uh, the, 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 the function tester, and that will be later in the demo. And for the rest, uh, the blog got abstracted. So the chat blog, uh, where for anonymous users, is now an actual blog. So you can place it through the Drupal 8 method on the pages there where you want to show it. The next step, it will have a channel. You have a channel for sales, a channel for support. You place one blog next to your products, the sales backend. You place the other at the FAQ, another place where you need support. So you can directly manipulate these blocks and your uh, backends for chats from the Drupal side. Then, another very important part is authentication. Who are you? Are you allowed to go in here, etc. So we needed to ask upstream, the rocket chat uh, developers, to be able to use uh, Drupal or Auth2 authentication. So Larry made a, a, a batch to have uh, next to all the other uh, LDAP, other authentications, also Drupal as an authentication provider. And after a while, it got pushed, and it's now in the current stable of uh, the Rocket Chat module. So if you start it and download it in the Snap Ubuntu environment, or use the Docker and Solver scripts, you also have direct access to this code. And with that, you can have a Drupal site with OAuth 2 server, which is built by the Commerce guys, which is very valid way of authenticating. And there, the people who are in your Drupal site can also use the chat. Just not by logging in again, just by clicking one button and they're there. In the chat. It's perfect. So, now as a little intermezzo, I want to teach you the rocket. It's very easy, it goes like this. You just oh, follow me. Yeah, follow. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. And from there, you can check. That's a rocket. And the rocket is something like an intermediate team exercise that we use if you have a team building thing. I didn't invent this one. I it's also open source, so that's about Anyway, upstream roadmap. What does Rocket want to achieve in the near future? They want to have a matrix-like network of rockets, but also riot services, and be able to hook these all together. Which means that if we talk here in this environment, we want to share a specific channel, for example, to IRC or to another communication medium that is to be invented or not, or maybe Facebook chat, I don't know, that it's possible to hook all these things up through the matrix. This one. You can find this one on the matrix.org. It's also open source software. It's very valid. So from there on, you go to like little evil things, like we know from our friends in China, where they have WeChat. WeChat is an app. If you have it on your phone, you can just sit down, order a drink, a pizza, and you can do everything, including payment, from within the chat. This due to the fact that the Chinese government hooked up with a lot of companies to make this work. Well, in the rest of the world, we have a little bit of problems with the privacy and so forth, so we can't do it the way that the Chinese did. However, if we can't cope, sorry, if we cope with the 
who knows what information, who has access to what information. We can build likewise systems. In a practical example that we gave before, like a TrupyCon or uh, the test bots or any other technical thing we can directly do. However, if we are working with other people's data, then we have to specifically ask permission, can we use this for this, and we want all these services to be hooked up. <coughs> However, RocketJet wants to have like a little app store that in your RocketJet server you can just click the pizza module and sit down on the terrace and order a pizza through your chat system. So this leads to a land of services and not the microservices we currently know, no, a, a, a combination of microservices, real services that employ pizza, uh, uh, statistics and so forth. And you can all hook them up as you wish. For the module itself, most important is to have direct messaging between individuals. It is already possible if you log into the chat and you start chatting. However, getting people in there is not, it's, it's not real hard, but it takes a little bit of a little bridge for them to step in and start collaborating. So having this functionality within the website would be great. Then you could do something like, um, we used to have organic groups, in Drupal 8 we have groups of people who collaborate together. So imagine that a user registers and wants to join a group for translating uh, Drupal to, let's say, German. Then they instantly got added to the chat group so they can start chatting together and collaborate with the better. German translation of the book. Then you have this notification that when you are sleeping or whatever and everybody's looking at the phone all the time, you want to have a nice way of having your notifications of the stuff that you find important, not everything that you get mentioned. Uh, file sharing, we currently have it implemented with Minio, Minio IO, which is something like AWS file system, however it's open source. So we can do it self-hosted and be sure that the data is shared with the people that we want it to be. Um, screen sharing is already possible within the apps and it works best on Linux at this point. Not so really well on Mac, but upstream will uh, try to fix that. Uh, however, for us as web developers, it would be really great if you can take a client in your website, use this website as screen share, and point them to the right direction of your call to action or your query or your survey or whatever you want to achieve with the website. Then finally, a real-time API with website, so you can directly hook up not only Rocket but also other chat systems and channels through the website. With so that's what we envision that the options are and the possibilities are with the Rocky module. To do so, it's too much work for us to do alone. That's why it's so good that there is an API now. So you can all help out and maybe encourage other people to start using this and start helping out. In order to maintain that, we need to have an option or a way uh, to collaborate on documents, because people want to use and work a lot on documents. And instead of throwing all these Word and, and, and PDF documents through the mail, we don't want to do that. We just want to have a repository where the documents are stored and they are referenced in the chat. And from there on you get a living documentation system which is up to date and still relevant. So instead of everybody taking their own column in Excel to, to, to back up their yearly raises in salary, we just have people collaborating on data. Also, you want to store and backlog uh, what communication has been and what decisions have been made for future reference and in order to learn from your own past. Currently at Slack, uh, sorry, at Drupal at Slack or we don't have that anymore because we don't pay for it. So we can't even learn from our history as a community. Makes me a little bit sad. Also, per channel, you want to set privacy levels. Do we want to share it in public and have it like a log pointer used to be in Rubicon? 
or is this a conversation that is between this working group and should be shared outside the group? So these kinds of uh, values of privacy are very important to us, at least Europeans, but I think to everybody in the world. And then, yeah, you can keep your documents to yourself and decide with whom you want to share this information. So, you've seen them around. I made this uh, little uh, carpentry, and it says stop slacking and start contributing. And for that, we created a uh, Drupal chat of EU. And on the little card on the back side, there is a QR code with the secret inviting, I can tell you. And uh, with that, you can access uh, the, the cluster that we built. It's a Mongo cluster uh, for uh, Mongo database services and five rocket runners on top. So if this gets really, really successful, we can just ask Platform Edge or, or these guys or any other hosting company to host instances. So together we can keep our own history and we can keep our own communication growth. Continue. So this is not a specific product by uh, Zero Forty Lab. It is something that we built because we thought that the community needs. So we also going to share that, donate it, or whatever it means uh, to the community that is always free and available to everybody who wants to contribute to the project. So we need help. Uh, we need help, like communities. Uh, I already asked uh, on the Twitter with uh, uh, Taco from uh, Open Social. They have a, a nice, uh, very good distribution that can do more than the current groups Drupal or You can have events and groups. And this is a, a, a use case where it would be take a little bit of effort to integrate, but it would bring so much value. Other people who work with CRM integrations or, or the, the personnel profiling, uh, websites, marketing engines, all these kinds of projects within Drupal uh, would be great if they take up this API and start collaborating modules that integrate with their systems with it. And of course, yeah, you name other third party integrations, I can make up everything. So after this one, um, outside to the left, there is the sprinting room, and there we will host a buff on uh, community, community channels, uh, what needs of information there is, what integrations are available, and maybe who wants to do what is more integrated and having it all done. So now we go to a little demo. I show this one, I show it at the end again our great sponsors that facilitated us. And when you see this one again, then there is a type of question. You want to? You want to? I can just talk. Yeah. Sure. Uh, this is the Drupal 8 with Barty team. And uh, this is the API demo part. And then we did a little fork of all the Rocket Chat documentation. Which has uh, yeah, there. Uh, so these are all the functions and methods which are available in Rocket Chat. And what Laurie built is a PHP Drupal 8 API that takes these functions and makes them available to Drupal 8 programmers. So, for example, if you want to know something about the system and the server, you take this info command and then you go to the yeah. Call that gives us the result. So 
the, uh, the project generated this JSON for us, and I just made it much conductor. So if you now, for example, want to know all the see the users or channels or me, uh, me, who, who am I? Ah, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Sure. So it's a question that's not not very often an answered. Who am I? Yeah. Philosophers take weeks or months in order to do so. so who are we? Oh, so who is the current user? Ah, uh, and a stripper. So uh, and he's currently offline because I did not specify also online. So. Says uh, offline, and uh, my address is ver uh, verified. Of course, I'm an, um, an admin, which you currently cannot see. This is a limitation of the API. But in the RoboJet configuration, I have uh, I always get the option to uh, select the address. So this is local address to the virtual machine is running. And then if I have the API module on, I get the option to add a user and the admin password. If I just type this in. Let's try and log in. And it's scarcely the so that's what this is just so. And for this demo we put a uh, logger chat into a uh, virtual machine. Just the uh, virtual box version. In the virtual box version, we put uh, uh, Ubuntu uh, 1604, and in that, from the Ubuntu package of Snap, we installed Rockchat, just like that. And then it's, it asks like two questions or something, two, three questions, like what's your host name and uh, that's it. Uh, you need the host name and for the Rockchat. Yeah, Rockchat is done. The module itself, you just need to add the host name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's first login, the first user you, that goes in, that is the master admin person. And with that you can create a, uh, in this case, a Drupal user to use for the Drupal back. Same way you can do it with bots. It's different than in Slack, there you create a bot, and then the bot will get a name, and you cannot kick it from the general channel, because everybody should be in general. Now we go and get the channel list. Yeah. And this is the current uh, channel list. It's only channel. And um, which might be fun to see is. Uh, how it goes when we uh, post the message to it. Now I go, this is the rocket chat. I'm going to repost this groggy uh, patient. I do that by uh, taking the example post. post message. And then we have an uh, example. between the Drupal and the chat and vice versa. 
And one of the main components that we want to add later is to have a rules trigger. Because rules is now an A, so if something happens with your site or somebody makes something or publishes something, you can make a rule and with that trigger an action that will send the message to the channel. Maybe we should channel. You want to show another one or shall we start with questions? If there's any questions, you
And another nice thing would be uh, in the back of my mind with the presentation by Fumi that he used these kinds of JSON arrays and created or okay, he used uh, open source GraphQL. So these kinds of mixes can. Oh, there we are. Yeah. So this basically this is just a uh, of the every message that has been sent to the general uh, mm -hmm. channel. And this also has paging and counting capabilities in specified element. So we can make a user? Yeah. Or uh, you can uh, request uh, give me all messages between uh, the, the 1st of September and the end of October. Mm -hmm. And it will do that. Yeah. Or the most frustrating bit of IRC, somebody asks a question and then when you're typing the answer, they leave. So next time when they come in, they can just see a pop-up message. Ah, this person answered your question, and this is the answer. Please stay around if you ask another question. That's, that's these kind of things, you can just build with that. Is there any other questions in between? No? Yeah. Yes, after uh, When you were showing the uh, integration where you had to run the server name, Yes. Or, and then you said if you have the API module enabled and two other fields pop up, how was the part clear to me? Is there the so, uh, here, ah, all right. here we have uh, several uh, modules. The, right. the rocket jet module is the base module. Yeah. That one is responsible for storing where is your rocket jet. Then we have the API. That, that one enhances it so that you have the API capabilities and also adds to the base module uh, need to store the user, and the admin user and the admin password. And then we have the, the API test we'll be using to show what, what does what. Uh, we have the uh, live chat box, which gives us the uh, ability to be, have that small uh, live chat widget in the page, which uh, is currently, if you want to include it, it's just a block. So I just this work. Uh, just work, and it uses the uh, URL in the Rocket base module to generate all the soft needs. Yeah. And this one takes the JavaScript from Rocket Chat. So in a different block module, you could use your own JavaScript or use your own CSS. Have the, the what we sketched before, have the departments listed for the uh, In this scenario, we have one rocket chat for multiple Drupal sites. We didn't do the scenario in 1990 because then you have namespace, a lot of namespace problems. <coughs> Any other questions? What kind of base module exactly is functionality? Configuration, authentication between the Drupal and the rocket. The authentication between the end user and the rocket and or the Drupal is done by all two. So we separated um, uh, the bot land from user land. Yeah, so uh, it's basically to have a single module on Drupal.org which has all these functionalities in it. That one is the base module, and it also, uh, because every module with no function is a bit silly, uh, it is responsible to store uh, all those generic config. So, uh, where, is the, where is the rocket jet, what user is there, and what uh, password is there for it, and only show it as a, a, a field to fill in when there's actually a need for it. And by the way, then, uh, on the lower left, we, right, on the lower right, we see now the uh, live chat and it is disabled, disabled state because I did not specify uh, oh, a man manager or mm -hmm. a user, so there's nobody to pick up, so it says what is there. And in the rocket you can set office hours and employees that can handle these questions and then it will shuffle the cards of the anonymous that come in. And just like any other proprietary system for life support, same, same time.
And there's no more questions then. Yes? What was me from using this model now against people chatting? That's spending your side. Sorry? What blocks me from using this model? Clicking the Google chat view yeah. and just putting out stuff from my Google instead of my Google chat button. I can just reuse my user from Google chat. Yes. Yes? Yes. Well, your user is not an admin, so you only have the user level uh, stuff you can do. But I can still spam you from, from within my Google site. As long as you don't trigger the uh, spam protection on Rocket Chat, yes. yes. So there is protection in the Meteor application and prevents stuff like that and that gets also handled if you approach it through the API. Yes. And you have one downside there is that in Drupal Chat there is a community. And if you start spamming too much, it will just smoke you out. But a very valid one. This is Can you define the different use for the different roles? Can you use to create a new integration and one use it enough? Yes. There is a full uh, role-based system in here. Uh, there's a full rule-based system in Rocket Check. And we already have a very full rule-based system in Drupal. Uh, however, currently in Drupal 8 is dev, there is an API. So if you build a module using that, please include your permissions. Does that answer the question? This is in Rocket Chat, and there are APIs available, or API calls available to get this and set this. So all we would need is somebody who does a module or something else, which makes it easy for me to do from Drupal. It could, it could help for us as an easy scheme to elevate itself uh, within nothing. Yeah. Cool. Is there anyone? No? Okay, thank you very much for your time.